Hey Wildcats, Miss Jacobson here, Principal of West High School with your announcements this week and I have some guests. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Miss Schmeichel. I am the choir teacher. Hi, I'm Miss Sher and I'm the band orchestra and IB music teacher. And I'm Miss Sins Redu and I teach theater and English. Hey, uh, and they're here to give you a special announcement. I wonder what it is about. I'm not entirely <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's a little bit of a mystery. But did you guys know that we are an award-winning show? It's Award of Excellence by the Spectrum Company. Yes. Yes. Yay. Yay. Mm -hmm. For our first announcement, um, virtual seniors, seniors who are online and not coming into the building for school, you can pick up your caps and gowns this Wednesday at door 9 between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Any orders placed on day of pickup must be paid cash on the spot, and that's $30. And if you're having some issues getting up um, the cash, come and talk to us and we have ways to help you out. All right, juniors and sophomores have the opportunity to test out of required personal and financial literacy class. PFL. To do so, you will need to take the opt out test, which is on May 26th. It costs a $5 examination fee. Students must register for the PFL test by this Friday, May 14th. To register, please see our bookkeeper, Ms. Tingley, in the main office or email her at the address on your screen. Keep earning those paw print tickets, Wildcats. Remember that both in-person and virtual students can be entered into drawings each week for great prizes. In-person students will need to place their tickets into a bucket at the circle desk. Virtual students will be entered into a virtual bucket by their teachers. Don't forget to nominate staff for paw prints by emailing Ms. Coppola. The Homes for Wildcats Assistance Program, which offers $10,000 loans toward the purchase of a home in the West Side community, is still accepting applications. Check out the link on your screen for full details and contact Brittany in the main office at the number on your screen for an application. So we are here with these uh, beautiful women to talk about our musical called Theory of Relativity. So is this a science thing? What's going on here? It does have, so it references pi, and so all you physics fans out there, here's the musical for you. Uh, so this musical is a little bit different. It, instead of it being like a musical that has a, like a story that goes from A to Z and you follow all the characters, this is what's called a song cycle. So it's sort of like groups of stories instead um, so you you still are following some storylines, but it's separate characters and they don't they don't all mingle together. So so it's like a bunch of short stories. Yeah, it's that kind of like doing, yep. and then they might be loosely uh, yes. connected. Yes, they're more them. connected by like theme and meaning than by specific storyline. Oh, okay. All these characters are trying to find their place in the world and learn how to make their mark and what what impact they want to have. So what was their challenges here in uh, doing it? as a virtual musical versus in person? Um, so some of the challenges with being a virtual musical is, well, the fact that this is the first time we've ever put something online like this. We are basically kind of trying to create a motion picture mm -hmm. to make it um, more interesting than your average Zoom classroom spiel every day. Um, so some of the interesting ask or difficult things we ran into was, um, you know, just recording it and trying to get everybody synced up at the same time. Um, we did use Zoom to record, which, um, you know, thankfully we're all familiar with that. Um, but also trying to get all of our tracks lined up was another challenge. A lot of our students recorded at home so that we had different sets and different backgrounds. Um, so we had to work through technology issues there with internet. Some of our rehearsals, because we were still at home, were held over Zoom, so okay. trying to rehearse in that. Two thirds, maybe? Two thirds was at home? Yeah. A lot of our rehearsal at home. Um, in the final step, we were able to come into the building and actually work together. So um, we worked with green screening a little bit. Um, we were outside, and the weather has been interesting to work <laughs> with. Um, but we're also going to have some drone footage, hopefully. So we're really trying to make this super interesting to watch for our viewers link um, and then the video will be on demand starting friday may 14th uh, you'll click on show ticks for you and it will take you there you'll be able to click on the video and it will start playing you can pause fast forward rewind you'll have access to that video for 48 hours 
and your access will um, be expired and you'd have to purchase another link. Okay, so you, it's like renting a movie. Ms. Hensredu, this is how many musical, which which number, like 450, uh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. 24. 24, yeah. Uh, yeah, and probably, this is probably one of the more challenging ones, huh? Yes, usually we're telling students to project their voices to the end of the auditorium and to act big, and this is really acting for the camera. So they have to be much more composed and collected. They can be more subtle in their performances, but it's it's a big it was a big ask this year, and we're all really proud about of how they were willing to learn the new format and willing to just stay with it and absorb all their mistakes and learn from them. Very cool. So our cast members worked really hard and they really had to know their stuff, and we're so proud of them because mm -hmm. like small but my. So I think we picked the perfect show for this year because it really emphasizes being in the moment and reaching out to the people closest to you and um, every time we asked our students to do that, they did. So I think you're going to see a dynamic performance. There is a link on your screen right now. Students and families and alumni because we have, we have a broad audience. Uh, click on that link and I'll support your local theater. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Wildcats. Thank you. Have a great week. <laughs>